So I'm now just going to demonstrate how we can draw an easy and simple net. A net is a surface development, which is essentially a 2D shape that can be cut out and assembled to form a 3D object. In order to do this, I'm going to start a, a page. I'm going to make sure that the, the drawing layout is set to A3 and landscape. When I'm happy with that, I'm just going to change the grid lock by double clicking the grid lock box. I'm going to set them to 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. Next, I'm going to use the square tool. So I'm going to come over to the shapes on the left, click and hold it and click on the draw horizontal rectangle. In order to get that pop up button, all you have to do is hold down on that first button so that you get the, the variety of different options. To draw this net, I'm going to start with the base. As I start with the base, I'm going to be watching down at the bottom left of the screen to see the size so that I'm working with relative dimensions. So I can click once and then bring the shape over. You can see there that the relative dimension for the X and Y coordinates are 80 by 80. So I just click accept and I've got my first shape. Next, I'm going to use a tool called the contour tool. I'm going to come over to the left of the screen and I'm using draw a closed contour. Now I'm going to contour this uh, at 50 millimeters and I'm going to set it to graphical path. When I do this, I click on the outer edge of the square. So I click to the, the outer side, the outside of the square, and it will now contour the square. So I have a second square, which is exactly 50 millimeters from the original square. Next, I'm going to go over to the line tool and click and hold and slide across until I get the draw a line at a given angle to another line tool. I'm going to select that and change the angle to 90 degrees. I then click OK and start constructing lines around my smaller square. To do this, I simply select one edge of a line, click once, pull that over to the side and click again. Back on that line down to the bottom half of it, click it once and bring it out again. And you should be able to zip around this in the same way, clicking on each end of the line you want to drag a line out of and pulling the lines out. Next, I'm going to come over to delete and I'm going to hold until I get the pop up. I'm going to change it to delete part of an object and then simply zip around the outer edges of this net so that I've now got a base with four sides. Now it's now going to need some tabs. So in the same vein as the first time, I'm going to click and hold on contour, uh, draw a closed contour. I'm just going to ask it to do a 10 millimeter contour. Click OK. Come over to the outer edge. Click, and that gives me my 10 millimeter contour. But this time, uh, I'm going to draw some lines on it. Instead of drawing them at 90 degrees. I'm going to use the draw a line at a given angle to another line again and change that to 45 degrees and accept that. I'm now going to think about where I'm going to need my tabs in order to make this box. Uh, I'm going to take one off those top two surface the top edges there. I'm going to take one off this side and that side, that one and that one, and then this one and this one. Now at the moment that looks a little bit confusing. But what I've done is drawn one tab that's going to allow this top surface here to fold up and meet this side. And then this bottom side here will fold up with that tab gluing onto this side. I go back to the delete part of and zip around the edge, just clicking to remove the bits that I don't need. I've got a very, very simple looking box here. Uh, next, I'm going to add a lid to the box. Now, I know that this box is 80 by 80, so I'm going to simply draw on one side of it, 80 by 80, looking down at the relative size on the bottom left of the screen again. Uh, just click that in. Now, I know that when I've drawn using that square tool, I'm going to have another line here. So I'm just going to delete one of the lines there to make sure that's right. I'm then going to add a tab on this top end. Now for this tab, I'm just going to draw it freehand. It's 
20 mil by 80 mil but then I'm going to cl click on the draw an arc tool so the, uh, the second one down on the left bring it over to the draw a filleted arc between two lines click once I'm going to fill it this at 15 millimeters so I'm just going to change the the radius of the fillet to 15 click on one corner and then the other line and then the first line of this corner the second line of this corner and there I have a very very basic net I'm also now going to add something called dust tabs now dust tabs are flaps that come out at the side of the lid and they allow the top surface of the the lid to rest on uh, I'll just contour change the uh, the contour to draw a closed contour I'm going to set this to 30 millimeters of graphical path and click around the edge of my net so that I've got the outer surface I'm going to click back on draw a single line and change it to draw a line at a given angle to another I'm going to change the angle this time to 75 degrees and click OK and I'm just going to zip some dust flaps or dust tabs off these corners uh, if it doesn't look quite right you can always go back over and change them if you need to then using the delete part of tool I'm just going to zip around the edge and remove the bits that we don't need so there we have a simple net that can eat be drawn quickly and accurately before being cut out and assembled to form a 3d shape